Hey y'all, come on in. It's time to cook Sunday dinner. I'm at it again. I'm in the kitchen here and I'm going to show y'all something right quick. I've got some smoked turkey legs. I didn't realize I had three, so I thought, you know what? Instead of putting them on the grill like you do with smoked turkey to make them all nice and yummy, I'm going to put these in the oven. They were frozen and I don't want to leave them any longer. So what I'm going to do is just got them in some foil here. And this is something new I'm trying. I just want to see what it tastes like. This is um, some Ken's oil and vinegar. I'm just going to squirt a little bit of that over them inside of these uh, four packets. I'm just going to make some little four packets out of it. Just put that in there for a little extra added taste. I'm sure it's going to be good. All I'm going to do is wrap them in that foil, and then I'm going to put them in the oven, and I'm going to let them bake. I'm probably, they're probably going to stay in there about a couple of hours, and I'm going to take them out and see what happens. So, also today, I'm getting ready to start my chicken parmesan for dinner. So, come on over here, and I've got everything all laid out over here uh, for my chicken parmesan. Um, I'm using chicken uh, thighs. I didn't take the bone out. I did not take the skin off because we want everything on them. I love chicken parmesan. It's so good. And uh, this is one of the items in my, uh, it's a long recipe. But anyway, it's a good recipe. And once you learn how to do it, it's like clockwork. So I got everything laid out and I'll show you step by step how I make my chicken parmesan for dinner today. Of course, I'm going to use my trusted um, green beans by Food Line. I'm going to put them in that yellow pot right there. I already got my rice done on the back burner. So we're having... Parmesan chicken, rice, and green beans, and some butter rolls for dinner. And those turkey legs, we're going to eat those just for snack. So when the flavor train pulls in, my kids like to sit around before we actually eat and do like cheese and crackers and stuff like that. So today, we're going to do turkey legs. So it's almost the season, and this is when I start adding little extra things in, you know, extra uh, kinds of hors d'oeuvres and whatever. So this is everything laid out. Remember I told you now, especially with this heavy cooking time coming on, get all your stuff laid out, and then all you have to do is go from thing to thing to thing to thing to thing until you get it all done so you don't have to run back and forth. This is like get your sous chef's stuff out of the way. If you don't have a sous chef, start ahead of time. So hang on just a minute, and I'm going to get right back with you because I'm going to get started to, um, you know, with the... Um, Parmesan chicken, that's a, a cooking process that you have to go through before you actually put it in the oven. So what I have to do, first of all, is um, I'll just tell you what I've got over here. Hang on one sec. Okay, thanks. I was competing with the TV. Oh, I got my TV going again uh, in a video that I did last night with the fried chicken. I told you all about how my little two-year-old sweetie threw my uh, Roku remote down into the air conditioning vent. Well, I put out there and asked somebody, uh, please tell me how to uh, use it, use my uh, Roku without the um, without the actual Roku remote. And so I didn't go back online to see who told me how to do it, but I'm sure there's some on there. But anyway, I, my, I didn't figure it out. Kareem, I should have known he would know. Um, but there's an app you use. So we'll talk about that later. But anyway, I can look at TV. I love to look at TV while I'm cooking. So... Here we go with the chicken parmesan. Okay, first thing we're going to do here, I've got here in this container, this is a little container. I thought it was just, they had cream puffs in it. I washed it out real good and see how, what a good little dish it makes uh, for um, storing anything or for using for flouring or breading or battering stuff. So, okay, in this bowl overnight, I washed and cleaned my chicken breast. And I seasoned them with, of course, Italian seasoning, some garlic uh, powder, salt, pepper, uh, complete seasoning, and salt and black pepper. And then, as an extra added, something for flavor, because this is an Italian dish, I poured some, guess what, you would never guess what I poured over in there. I love olives, so I poured about a fourth of a cup of olive juice in there just for extra flavor so this has been sitting on the chicken overnight so what i'm going to do here is i am going to dip it in my milk solution then i'm going to mix, dip it into um my bread crumbs and flour and parmesan cheese mixture so this is uh, 
two cup two cups rather of um parmesan of uh, two cups of Peggy get it together two cups of breadcrumbs one fourth cup of parmesan cheese and two tablespoons of flour so that's what's in there in here in this bowl here that is my milk that is a cup of milk okay now the recipe that I use I put buttermilk in mine I did not have buttermilk so guess what I use regular milk one cup of milk and then I use um, a couple of teaspoons of um, lime juice I don't even have lemon juice so I use lime juice so you do I don't know if you knew it or not but if you don't have buttermilk and you need buttermilk for a recipe add some lemon juice or lime juice to regular milk and it curves it and, and you get that buttermilk taste it even kind of thickens up a little bit for you so I'm that's gonna be my buttermilk mixture and if um, first time you do it you put um, I, and I'm gonna have to put some more because you have to let it sit for a minute or two I'm gonna say a tablespoonful will probably do it I probably did not put enough in there to begin with so I'm putting some more because what that uh, tartness does it just curdles that milk and gives it that buttermilk flavor okay so I'm sure that's going to be enough. Yeah. All you need is just that. And just, you just have to sort of let it sit sort of completely. When you see it sort of, yeah, there it goes. See how it sort of is thickening up. Like buttermilk. Who knew? I can't I read it somewhere and I thought, woohoo. A way to make buttermilk. I love buttermilk with cornbread. How about that? I don't know who else eats that. I'm a country girl. I, look, I was born in Georgia. My parent, my grandma and my mama were cooks, and they knew how to prepare all kinds of food. So, buttermilk was one of those things that I ate on a regular basis. Cornbread, buttermilk, and sweet potatoes. So, here we go. Okay, here's that first chicken thigh. I'm just going to I don't put, put it a lot. I'm just going to dab it. I really don't want to put too much on there. So, I may have to make more. Hope not. I want to put a lot, a lot, a lot on there. So we just gonna, but all I'm doing is um, just laying these uh, pieces of chicken in that buttermilk to coat them and lifting them back out of there and I'm putting them over here in my breadcrumbs, okay? I'm going to coat them real good and then I'm going to get them ready to drop them in the pan. I'll go ahead and do a couple and then, because I've got, I think I got 13, you know I had to cook a ton because I'm always, all the kids come, they bring friends. Whomever, somebody walking down the street might want to stop me, and I don't know. But anyway, we're going to get them coated really, really good. And then they're going to go into this. I got two cups of um, oil, cooking oil in there, olive oil, cooking oil, whatever. I had, uh, mine is like, oh, it is olive oil. Who knew? Oh, it's canola and olive oil, so it's not quite just plain olive oil. But anyway, you get the picture here, how this is supposed to look. So I think my grease is hot enough. And you don't want this grease real, real hot, but you want it hot enough because all you're going to do is just brown it on each side for a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to, when they come out of the skillet, I'm still letting it, that grease get hot. Look at them two pieces of rice. What are y'all doing in there? Anyway, then uh, that chicken is going to go over here to my big yellow baking pan. And we're going to put it in the oven and bake it for about a good hour and 15 minutes. And I'll just show you it. Uh, as I go along, whatever else I have to do with it. So let's test that grease now. That grease is still heating up over there. Um, yeah, I think I got enough in there. So, but yeah, um, today is not a real happy day. My neighbor lost a couple family members overnight, so sort of had a rough night last night. But anyway, God is still good. He's in control. He's in the blessing business. He's in the strengthening business. So to anybody who have any tragedies in their life, you just know that God is always looking out after us. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and start putting that chicken in. I think maybe I put that one in a little bit too fast. But anyway, we're just going to keep right on going. So hang on for me just a second, okay? 
Okay, there they are. I got those turkey legs ready to go in the oven nice and wrapped up tight. I'm going to cook them for about a couple of hours. So I'll let y'all see what they look like when they come out. Okay, there's the chicken. It's browning up pretty good. And all we're doing here is just browning and cooking on that uh, those breadcrumbs so that they have a nice uh, color when it comes out of the pan there. So I flipped them. Now I'm getting ready to take these out and I'm going to put the mix back in. Okay, y'all, here it goes. I got all that chicken uh, with the Parmesan cheese and the breadcrumbs all fried up in the dish. I'm getting ready to put the tomato sauce and cheese on it. In fact, I ended up with two pans of it because I had I didn't realize I had that much. This third pan, let me tell you, this has history. Okay, on the video that I did last night where I fried some chicken. Okay, I fried a whole, my, remember my little bitty tiny chicken where I fried the entire chicken? And I only ate like two pieces of it. Kareem did not eat. He had already eaten when he came in. So I had fried chicken already fried up. So he comes in two minutes ago and said, oh, Grandma, it's dinner ready. I'm so hungry. I said, boy, I'm still in the process of cooking. So I thought, bingo. So what I did with that already fried chicken, I put it in a pan. I put some of my tomato sauce on it. I put some Parmesan cheese on top of it. And I sprinkled some... Um, cheddar and uh, Monterey Jack cheese on top. So I'm going to run it through the microwave for him so this baby can sit down and eat until I get through cooking. So it'll be the same dish but sort of fits a different way. So where there's a will, y'all, there's always a way. Now I was going to heat this chicken up anyway and make it part of the meal but since he came in want to eat, this is what he's going to get right now. So y'all hang on let me get him taken care of and I'm going to come back to getting the regular dinner on because it's just now 1.30. It's not time for dinner. Hang on. Okay, y'all, here I go. I'm going to go ahead and start putting this uh, tomato sauce on top of the uh, chicken. And then I'll put some uh, Parmesan and then some uh, cheddar and Colby Jack cheese on there. Okay, first of all, this uh, mixture here is a um, large can of pasta sauce, which is the same sauce I use when I make spaghetti. You can use tomato sauce, pasta sauce, whatever you choose. Or you can use um, just the pasta sauce. And it's already made up. It's good and flavored. I got a, a 14 ounce can of um, diced tomatoes in there. I put a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of salt, a fourth of a cup of um, sugar, and a fourth of a cup of tomato ketchup. You know, I always use my tomato ketchup. And I poured in some extra Italian seasoning in there. So I'm just going to spread this over this chicken. And then I want to put the cheese on top of it. And then it's going to go into the oven. I'm going to cover it and put it into the oven. So I'm just going to ladle just like this. It's going to ladle the oven. Now this is, a, this is a lot more sauce than most. My family loves a lot of sauce. So I make a lot of sauce. So if you don't like a lot of sauce, you don't have to use a lot. My family is honey. We, we got rice going. There have to be a ton of gravy to go with it. So this is basically how I'm doing this. This is chicken parmesan cheese, my style. Chicken parmesan cheese, chicken, my style. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say, y'all. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this done. You see how I'm doing it? Just simply just take your spoon there and ladle it over there. And like I said, this is an extra pan because these chick, this um, pan got sort of crowded. And I want it to be where they can lift them right out of there and um, put it onto the plate. So make sure we get lots of sauce on there. This is going to go right on top of the rice, and I'll leave some extra because they're going to want some extra. I always have, you know us, we extra. Uh, we'll probably have a couple of dinner guests today, and I'll probably take some food over to my neighbor as well. So, hold on, let me go ahead and get the rest of these done. Okay, y'all, I've got that chicken parmesan already to go into the oven. Okay, I started with, the, I uh, greased my pan, put some uh, the chicken in, and I put tomato <coughs> sauce in there. I put my cheese on, I put my, my uh, shredded cheese, then I put some Parmesan, and then I put a little bit more sauce on top, and I did the same thing for both pans. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this through the oven about an hour, a good hour, because they did cook some, not a lot, but they got to stay in there an hour because these are uh, thigh, this is thigh meat and takes a little time. Now I'm going to cover it, but not tight cover, because I don't want it to just boil. I want it to cook under there, and I, I don't want it to, and I'm going to put it on uh, 375 for, no, I'm sorry, 350 
for one hour and we're gonna of course make sure it's good and done so here it goes it's going into the oven so hang on okay y'all when I say um, when I say lightly cover I, mean, I don't mean you know tightly cover it means to fold all that in just to push it down like that so I'm just gonna leave it hanging loose like that I'm gonna slide it on in the oven for an hour and we'll be back Okay, y'all, just a little extra. This is um, some peppers and onions I'm sauteing because I'm going to make that little extra pan of sauce. Remember, I tell you, my family likes lots and lots of gravy, so I don't drown those uh, that chicken parmesan and, and put a whole lot of gravy in the pan with it. So I put most of that mixture, though, on top for it to cook. But now I'm doing, this is my little extra pan. You can do, this is optional. All it is is saute peppers and onions. And then I've got some... Uh, tomato sauce left over. I'm going to pour it right on top of that and it's going to make a little extra gravy uh, for my family. I mean, this probably only applies to us because we're extra, okay? But I wanted to share that with you, so hang on. Okay, y'all, there it is. That little extra bit of gravy to just dip right into that rice. Just need a few drizzles. Just have something extra on top. That's the way we like it, so hang on. It's almost done. Okay, y'all, there's Kareem's emergency plate. Thank God I already had some chicken cooked up. I just fixed it up and made it Parmesan. The rest is still cooking in the oven, but he's getting ready to eat now. Okay, there it is, y'all. It's wonderful. Okay, there it is, y'all. All done and ready to eat. We've got the green beans. Two nice pans of Parmesan chicken. And, of course, rice to serve it over. So... We're going to sit back, relax, and enjoy this Sunday dinner. Yummy. So make sure to tune in. Thumbs up. Try this recipe. This is a nice one for the holidays. Nice hearty meal. Okay, until I cook again, I'm going to say to the loop because I'm hungry now. Flavor Train still hasn't pulled in yet. They're running late today, so I'm going to go ahead and eat. I'm hungry. So until we cook again, I'm going to say to the loop to you. Keep on praying. Keep lifting each other up. And tune in again. See you soon. Love you guys. To the loop.